Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here. This is what I've always wanted. It's a freaking kiosk. Well, it's a mini kiosk. I don't know. I don't even know if it's a kiosk, but it freaking looks like one that looks like a screen, like a TV screen, like a video would play on that. I believe that's what it is. Oh my God. It was upside down. I flipped it over because I couldn't do it with, with probably one hand. So that's why I flipped it over this way. That's why it's like this. And there's even an Xbox one box. There are freaking one, two, three bags tonight. A little mini kiosk. It's Lego dimensions. And you can see all the little pieces. They're all over the place. Oh, He's still standing up, <laughs> but every other piece of oh, the car is still there too. But the actual portal and stuff is in place. I that looks like it's probably glued down. If yeah, it says play, build, collect. That is freaking awesome. I don't know what happens when you press these buttons. They are buttons. I don't know what happens. I believe that's a TV screen though. That is freaking awesome. That is so cool. I've seriously been waiting for a night like this like forever. Like when the Wii U Kia. Sorry about that. When the, I believe the Wii U kiosks came out and like they were throwing them out, I never found one. I found a piece to one, but I never found one. Now I found a legit Lego Dimensions mini table stand kiosk. Freaking legit. There's the cables on the back as well. Yeah. Oh my God. It's not even cut. It's a legit cable. It's all like cable management right there is like a hundred percent. That is freaking nuts. I think it's a TV. It's got cables going back here. Look at this. There's cables running down the side as well. Do these glow up or something? I don't know. In the weekly recap, I'm definitely going to show you guys if this works or not. Because I can't wait. I think that's a TV. It looks like it was thrown in here. Like, it looked like it was in, like, it looks decent shape. I hope the screen's not cracked. That would really suck. The plexiglass isn't cracked or anything, which is good. Just an amazing freaking find. I've never, ever found one of these before. Let alone find a TV screen. Like, that's nuts. And it looks like a pretty decent size one, at least an eight inch across, at least maybe a nine, 10 inch. Like it's like a tablet screen. That's what it looks like. That is freaking awesome though. Look at that. Like what? <laughs> I'm still freaking out. I I'm like speechless now. That is freaking awesome. Looks like the character also goes on that one. They're probably in here somewhere. You got all the Batman stuff, all the Batmobiles. You got the portal itself, which is, doesn't look like any of the pieces. Those are legit Lego pieces, unless they glue them together for the kiosk. I don't know. But, uh, that is crazy cool. It's really dusty, by the way. As you can see, it's all smudgy. But, uh, still, I mean, that is freaking cool. What does it say on the back of this? It, it's got the cable. It's got this, which it looks like it's, yeah, it's an actual screen because it has, like, stuff for the heat and stuff. It's got, like, vents. That is amazing. That really is amazing. I can't even get it in like the whole picture. I'm shaking right now. I'm so excited. Look at that thing. Like, look at it. Holy crap. <laughs> that is nuts. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so we obviously have a kiosk. At least that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a Lego Dimensions kiosk. It's freaking cool. Like, this is when you'd press maybe build and it would show something building on the screen. I don't know if, like, maybe the portal glows up. That's probably what happens. And it's probably going to be freaking epic because there's cables going to that. There's cables running down probably to these switches. Maybe, like, this glows down here. Like, the glass, maybe it glows. I don't know. I've never seen one of these in GameStop because I really don't go to GameStop that often. So that'd be freaking cool. The inside of GameStop, not their dumpster. But, uh, yeah. That's amazing. That is so freaking cool. I mean, still have an Xbox One box and three bags, and they're decent size, too. I mean, this alone I would have been fine with finding tonight, but let alone this with bags. The bags tonight are usually, like, the best things to find. That's the best thing to find. This is the icing on the cake. Let's get into this. Also, an Xbox One box, which I probably won't keep this because I just found one, like, last week, and I don't think any of my friends really want any of these. We have an Optimum bag in there. Okay. And that's the bottom of the box. Not going to keep it, though. Uh, maybe I'll keep it as the trusty, dusty box. Perfect. Oh, it's the edition with all those, like Lara Croft. we got Halo, Master Chief, I mean, stuff like that. So let's get into these bags. Uh, do the weight test really fast. I'm still, I'm like really hyper right now. I haven't been this hyper in such a long time. And let's just do this. Decent weight to it. Not too shabby. We got this bag. That's actually really heavy. Oh, it looks like we got a pun. Uh, I said a punch. A bunch of papers below it. And there's also this bag, which I believe is GameStop. Yes, and that one's pretty good as well. Not too freaking bad. I can't wait get, to get into this. Let's do it. Give me one second. I'm trying to maneuver stuff here so it's easier to go through. Let's do this. 
And if I haven't said already, tonight is 236 of GameStop Dumpster Diving. Link in the description down below because I'm doing a giveaway. Go click on that link. All you have to do is be subscribed. Be subscribed to my gaming channel. Follow me on Twitter. All that amazing, easy stuff to do and you're entered. You get like multiple entries. Also, go back to the website every day to get a bonus entry, which is freaking sweet. If you're wondering what I'm giving away, I'm giving away a $20 gift card for either an Xbox 3, uh, not an Xbox 360, just Xbox in general. I'm shaking so much. I'm just so excited right now. An Xbox, a PlayStation card, or a PC card, which is Steam, or a Steam, which is PC. I don't know. One or the other. Looks like we have a cricket thing. A couple rubber bands, which I always take rubber bands from my updated rubber band ball, which I will be making very soon, maybe. Maybe episode 300 of Dumpster Diving? Not too sure. I get these rubber bands around my wrist. It's a lot easier to do that way. Got this cool uh, clip, by the way. I'll take that. You can always use useful little things like that. Even though it's really cheap to buy, it's just like, I'm getting it for free. You got bags. And also, thank you for everybody who let me know that I missed $10 in the bag yesterday, uh, dumpster diving. It wasn't real, though. I looked at it really closely in the video. It was fake. It was like a credit card kind of looking thing. It was like a business card looking thing. That's what I think it was. But uh, either way, let's get into this. And let's do this. This bag had a decent amount of weight to it, not seeing anything yet, except a bunch of cans, like a whole pile of cans. Another can. <laughs> I mean, hey, people like to drink. You gotta drink to survive. That looks like it is. Uh, usually bags inside the bags are good, but uh, not really that one. And this is the box that was, I went through the, oh, more rubber bands. I went through the other day I was here. I'm trying to do these rubber bands, give me a second. They're all tangled together. Okay, put them around my wrist. Yeah. There we go, perfect. <laughs> so yeah, these were the, that's like the, uh, the thing that had money in it or whatever, it would have had real money in it. I think dimes, yeah, $250 worth of dimes. That's nuts. But uh, yeah, let's go into bag number two, which is pretty heavy. And there's even another bag below it, so yeah. I'm still like, like, oh my God. I can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait for myself to even see if this works. Because it plugs in, it has a, like an extension cord on the back of it. So it plugs in and it, something lights up. Hoping that's a TV screen, it's what it looks like. Hopefully it's not cracked or broken. I know screens like that can break very easy if like dropped or thrown like a regular TV. So I mean, it's a long way from the dumpster down. So hopefully, because I mean, it did land on this cushiony kind of stuff. So hopefully it didn't get damaged. Because if it did, I'm going to be really freaking pissed. But uh, either way, I'm going to clean this up for a second. I'm going to be pissed if it's broken. But either way, just to have the shell of it alone is really cool. car driving outside very slow sorry about that that happens sometimes usually every dumpster dive but uh yeah a lot of packaging material this bag wasn't the heaviest but we don't have a box from batman oh is he in there i have found things like this i find a lot of dorbs nope not in here i'm gonna eventually make like a dorbs collection because i have so many of those little characters i have about like eight of them now eventually i'll hopefully get more and i can make a collection video of it because that would be pretty cool Sorry about that. Got you guys off of video for a second. Nothing in bag number two. I mean, if I find nothing in the last bag, I'm okay with that because I have this. This was the coolest find, like, in history. Besides, I found that beer when I first started dumpster diving, which was the most randomest thing ever. I'll leave a link in the description down below. I actually found beer dumpster diving, which was very strange. And it was, I mean, it was legit beer. It was like, I think it was, oh my god, I'm shaking so much. I'm just, oh, I can't get over this. But, uh... Also that bag, right? Yeah. I found beer, which was the most randomest thing ever, and it was whatever. I gave it to my dad and he loved it, so. I currently hear a car. That sounds very close, but I don't see them. I don't know. Maybe there is no car. Maybe it's something on the top of the uh, building. Like one of those fans or whatever. Ooh, I see something. A $25 gold play on the whatever it's not scratched off i'll take it maybe i usually do take these i've never found any money on them but that one time i don't take it it might have money on it so you don't know there's even another one which is actually cracked in half maybe i'll take it Ooh, lanyard no is this a collar what is this 
like a dog coat? No, it's a lanyard. Okay, hold on. I can't get this off. There we go. It is some kind of lanyard. It has like two clips on both ends. Well, one clip on both ends. Both. Yeah, what the? That's cool. I, I'll use it. It's brand new. I mean, I don't know what I'll use it for, but I'll keep it. For sure. That's pretty cool. Ooh, we have something yellow. It looks like a Tic Tac holder. I really don't want that. I mean, I could maybe find a use for that, but I don't know. No games in those. You can tell if there's games if you just crush it. And this was the... Ooh. That's Battlefield 1, the steel book. That is actual metal. And it's semi-open. Maybe the game's inside. I've actually found one of these before. And I love steel books. They are freaking legit. They are so cool. Also, a water bottle. That is... Oh, it's brand new. This is the second ever water bottle I have ever found. Look at that. That's brand new. That's never been opened. I'm taking that. <laughs> hey, I'm going to drink it on the ride home. I don't care what you guys think. It's it's just, it's not even open. It's brand new. If it was food, it'd be a different story. Because food can go bad. Water can't go bad. It's water. Uh, yeah. Battlefield 1. Oh, it's not in there. No. Still a really cool steel book. It's metal. Like You can't really tell, but... It's, it's shiny, it's metal, it's freaking awesome. No major scratches on it. That is really, really sick. That bag was the best, and it was also the heaviest. So it, it's, I don't know, like usually heavy bags are either really good or they really, really stink. A light bags could be either good or really stink. It's a mystery, you never know. But this thing is by far the coolest thing. And I still hear a really loud like truck or something, but I don't see them. Hopefully they don't creep up on me and I get scared. They'd be like, hey, what are you doing in that dumpster? And I'll be like, Nothing. There's nothing in here. Don't look at this. This is mine. No, there's nothing in here. Ooh, there's also a box with stuff in it. Ooh, okay. Didn't expect this. I saw this sticking out of it. I was like, maybe? Because I didn't check anything. Usually I check boxes, kind of. Like, I'll check that box. That was already here, though. I usually check some boxes before I come in, just so I have an idea of what's actually in here besides the bags. I don't go through those. But, uh, oh, these are all dummy cases. There's going to be, there's no games in these. I'm not even going to check them. I'm going to look through them. Yeah, see, this was packaged all brand new in that Solophane stuff. League of Legion of Collectors. Uh, I really don't want that either. So that I'm not gonna keep that either. I'm gonna throw that back. But either way, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you truly, truly enjoy the video, or just my videos in general because I love making them. It's not the easiest thing to make these videos because sometimes there's like there's either the employees are at, in the store or there's like people driving back here like crazy and I don't have a chance to come here and make the video. Stuff like that. Because some stuff just comes up. Also family stuff that I can't make it out here some nights. Uh, but usually I come out here every single night on the weekdays. Weekends I don't really come out here. But uh, I make like other videos like unboxings, the weekly recap, stuff like that. Which a lot of people enjoy because if you can't watch daily dumpster diving of what I do, then I, that's why I make the weekly recap. So people can catch up with what I've caught for the week if they missed a couple videos. Which I think is a great idea, actually. Oh, the car just passed. Okay. One of my fans, like when I first started doing YouTube, actually told me that idea. And thank you to whoever you are. I do forget who you are, but thank you so much because that's why I do the weekly, well, the weekly recap. I never thought of the idea until someone told me, which I thought was legit. So thank you guys so much. Watch the last dumpster dive over here, the most recommended dumpster dive over here. We, uh, subscribe to the Speedy Gamer and subscribe to the Speedy Diver, this channel. Don't forget about that giveaway. Link in the description. Also, this thing, if you want to know if it works, I might leave a link in the description down below when I make the weekly recap, which will be in a couple days. But by the time maybe some of you are watching this, it's going to be maybe a month later or two months. I have no clue. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Also, I got some cool rubber bands. <laughs>